What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Tish. Chris coming back again with another video. And today, it's about a title. We'll be reacting to the entire kingdom employee caught Ray Hand is stealing 14 bands from Register. Let's get right into it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And this is about We've always to heard stories of thieves. Oh, I can't hear another. Was doing the unthinkable. Depriving honest individuals of either money or goods for their monetary gain. Well, in this case, this thief got very bold with their crime. Here's how it worked. A local mechanic who worked for a major mechanic company thought it would be a good idea to steal customers' credit card information from his workplace. Bro, the thief would take the card information, create a fictitious invoice, and tender out the payment, then take cash from the register. Oh, he was working hard for his money. What exactly happened? Illegally. Uh, an employee here took over $13,500 yeah. uh, in cash from the store. Uh, we have uh, you know, identified who it is and you know, want to make a police report. Okay, is that person uh, working right now? Yes. Hey, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. I don't want to let him know. Yeah, no, we had all stuff here. But, um, so cash, what we're for a larger corporation, uh -huh. we have uh, stores all over the country. So cash management calls down the district manager. They call me and say, hey, you know, we got a lot of distribution. Okay, from, from one store. When officers arrived, they immediately met with the district manager who stated that there had been over 50 chargebacks from customers in just one month. Due to this claim, they would launch an internal investigation, monitoring all employees responsible for financial transactions. That's good. I went through some data, looked at different work orders, saw that they were only using one specific part, you can figure it out, use your mind. Uh, you basically run the money, like use someone's car, and pay for all the tickets on one car. The manager explained to the officers exactly how the scheme worked. He would take all the credit card information, yeah, me create <laughs> one big invoice, mark it as paid, and then take the cash. Mm. When confronted about his theft, the perpetrator okay. panicked and pulled out nearly $13,000 in cash, handing it to the manager. He gave us back $13,500. Bro! Oh, he gave you back $13,500. Correct. And how much he... Bro was just walking around with $13,500 in his pocket? Let me hold a little something, brother. Hey. Let me hold a little something, brother. I know you finna get bonded out. Let me hold a little something. Let me hold. About, about a thousand. Eh? Yeah? Because you don't want to go to jail. Okay. In cash? In cash. No problem. Yeah. You have an office? Hey, you got an office? You got an office? Hey. You got an office? What's your name, sir? Say, uh, we gotta have a talk for a second, all right? Let me favor, keep your hands out your pocket. All right. We're just talking. It's right there. Buddy already knows what's going on. All right. Hey, got a Miranda card? Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead. All right, so listen, before um, we talk to you, how old are you, by the way? 23. All right, so before we talk... Bro, look, to for sure, rights, 17. It just protects you against self-incrimination. It's not saying you're guilty or you're under arrest, but this is just for us to conduct our investigation. We've got to read this to you and we'll, um, afford you your rights, okay? That's right. All right? All right, so your name is... Yeah. All right. Matter of fact, before you do it, you got your ID on your partner? Um, no. Do you no, have an ID? I have an ID, but I'm talking. Okay. It's with the 13 that? bands, that's where it's at. Okay, that's fine. Let's get his, uh, let's get his, um... Name and let me step over here. Are you guys have paper trail or anything that I can use as that pass? Hey, that guy right there, he knows it. He don't know what's going on, but I know he gonna tell his wife all about it. Yeah, baby, I was uh, down there at uh, Tire Kingdom, and uh, man, they, uh, some guy told me they, they got stole about thirteen thousand dollars. I couldn't believe it. And hey, that's gonna be a story of a generation for that man. Yeah, but then August to November twenty first, thirteen thousand. 
These are all the tickets. That's in the city. See, on stuff like that, I wonder, like, do people like really think they're not gonna get caught? Like, there's no way he's stealing thirteen thousand dollars from a large corporation like that and thinking nobody's watching him. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's, there's no way. There's no way he thought that. The cash from the guests who come in, pay for whatever services he is, and would, he would be the one to close out, basically, at the end of the night, taking the tenure, and the invoices that the guests paid with, and paid with, take someone else's card information, which is the same CLC, it's the same card information for each of these work orders. And who, are, and who are those names? We can't even figure out who that is because he will randomly punch it in and the bank will not often give us that information. Mm. Of a lawyer of your choice before you make any statements and during any questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, you are entitled to the presence and representation of a court-appointed lawyer before you make any statement and during any questioning. If at any time during the interview you do not wish to answer any questions, you are privileged to remain silent. You understand? Yeah. Okay. So with that being said, how long have you been working here, man? Um, at this business? I'm not sure. I've been like less than a year. Less than a year here? Did you work at Tire Kingdom before this or anything like that? No? Where were you working before this? Last year. Messed up a good job for him, too. A good paying job for him. Um, During that time, have you been working? Have you been working with a register or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you do a lot of payments? You take all the payments that come in, or how does no, that work? Not all of them, but I, I'm mostly the one that does it. Okay. And you work? What? You, is there a certain time frame you work when you come in? Oh, do you have like a specific schedule? No, all day, every day. All day, every day. Okay. All day, every day. Ugly. Okay. And then. So during the time that you're working, come on, bro. You have access to the register. See, card this is a stuff. this is a prime example right here of why um, the greatest generation, boomers, millennials, say Gen Z, don't want to work because we're stealing. And I know everybody steal. Like, whoa, 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 whoa! Everybody do not steal. Text Chris, don't steal. I'm saying every generation steals, but. Gen Z, man, he, he look bad, brother. He's 23, bro. So that means he was born in, uh, that was 2000. So that just makes, that just makes us look bad as Gen Z, you know. If you're watching this and you're young, keep your head on straight. And you can get whatever you want as long as God is with you. Let's go. Yeah. What do you mean, like, like, do you have access to, like, cards and register and you take payments and everything like yeah. that? Okay. All right. Um, do you kind of understand where we're here? Do you have a kind of like a idea on why we're here right yeah. now? Okay. Why do you think we're here? Taking money from the drawer. Okay. You took physical cash or was it something that along the line of cards or what, what, what was no, it? Physical cash. Okay. All right. So just, um, no, you if I yeah, no, you're good. Just to so just explain to us, I mean, we're sitting here talking, honesty is the best key. I appreciate yeah. that. That's not ever the door. Huh? You want to close the door? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now the man want privacy. Now he want privacy. Honesty is the best thing. That's the only thing that <laughs> you can do to fix this at this point, right? Because at the end of the day, I don't think you're a bad person. We all fall short of times and we all need help at some point. And just sometimes we're that desperate that we, we stoop to a level that's not our personality, right? 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 And we just make mistakes, right? That's all it is, okay? But we want to right the wrong. Okay, so I just need you to tell me exactly. Bro, don't give a shit. This happened for our Bro, I don't care whatsoever. Let me see. I think my mic looks loud. Uh, and to explain to you, uh, yeah, but we're here talking to you because your the allegations are against you. You understand me? And you're sitting here telling us that you did something. He can't tell us what you did exactly to the T because he wasn't there. You're here. You're the one that did it. Yeah, so no, you're gonna I, be so you gotta be the one to explain it for us to help your case. You understand what I'm saying? I don't. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Understand right. what I'm saying? I don't. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. All right, so let's start from the top of how this happened. Well, we yeah, got bought out recently by them. Then you know the system's all this. Y'all got a notepad or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna so come you said. Over here. 
So you said you, you guys got bought out recently? Yeah, we got bought out recently. And okay. the system's like, oh, the other shit. Yeah. Do you think probation is sufficient for criminals who steal large amounts of money? Let us know below. Honestly, I think if you steal over 10, no, I don't know what's the amount, but I think it's just like a felony. So if he, if he's charged with a felony, right, I think probation minimum should be like three to five years, maybe. That's just me, bro. Or, or 18 months, you know, because maybe, honestly, maybe he was having a bad time, you know. So, like, let's just say 18 months to 72 months. That's fair enough. Somewhere between in based off his history. I'm no judge. I'm no law enforcement. That's just personal preference. Yes, no picture. Okay. Uh, we're learning it, and then after that, like, system will go down, and we'll take people's information, like the card and stuff. So you write down the card information? Yeah, write down the card okay. information. And then I'll use that, retender, check it, and the cash. When you say retender, what can you kind of explain retender in? Hey, um, we put it, we say it's, um, card, but if I change it to cash, or... On, in the uh, system? Yes. Okay, so you'll take a payment, and you say it's a card? But then you take cash from the person, or how yes. does that work? Yes. So you take cash from the person, but you put in the system that it was a card. Yeah. Okay. C continue. Sorry. A question. Yeah. Does that card ever get charged? Card? Yeah. Does the card get charged? Yeah, the card gets charged. So you charge the card and you take the cash? No, no, no. I charge. I give me the cash. I put in the system as card, and then I put um, somebody else's card. So the card yeah. never gets charged. Given to us. Okay. Gotcha. I don't. <laughs> so what happens is he would, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, so he would then say the system was down so they kept people, they would write down people's information to charge later, correct? So. Uh, see, like, this is no good. See, now, now, like, if I ever hear, like, a system is down, and I get, first of all, nobody's writing down my card information. That's a red flag, first of all. We are in 2024. Every single place has Apple Pay, besides Wally World. I don't know why. They have everything else besides Apple Pay, but that's besides the point. Nobody's writing down my card information. At all. Like, and even, like, even certain things, such as, like, Crypto, like I want to invest in some crypto, just a little bit, little little some some. They didn't want my card information to withdraw the money. They wanted my bank information. See, there's a difference. I I know I'm going on a Hall of Fame yap session right now, but if you put your card information in, all they can do is take your card, right? That's it. They can withdraw money from your account, but. If they take your bank account information, you gotta close that entire bank account, bro. You gotta close that entire bank account. Cause they can literally wire money, do this, do that, do that. Credit card, debit, uh, debit card, nah, just cancel it, bro. Never get out your bank information anyway. They would charge the card. Mm. Do the retender and you would put it in as paid cash. Uh, it looks so like they paid, but card. it looks like you paid a card, but they paid in cash. So he would keep the cash because on paper it looks like it was paid. So to the untrained eye, on paper, on face plate, it looks like it's paid. Correct? Okay. All right, and, and when did you first start this? That I'm not sure. Uh, with months, years? Oh no, months. Months? Yeah. And When's the last time you can remember? That, the, the first time you did it? Another thing I don't remember. Uh, and what drove you to do this? What goes, hey, I'm going to yeah, do this. What, like, like, what made you think about it? Exactly. What was the motive behind to, it? To be honest, I don't, I don't really remember what I was, I was doing. I just. Bro, just still in the steel at that point. <laughs> Bro, just yeah, still in the steel. Because, I mean, you're, you see, you're smart. You're not dumb. You're a smart kid. So pull this off in this amount, you're a smart guy. So what at what smart moment you go, man, you know, shit, I need some new rims or I need this. What made you go, <laughs> I'm gonna do this? Cause we don't just wake up in the morning and decide we're gonna start doing something. No, I didn't well to be honest, I have Hold on bro. Hold on. I gotta go steal some.
type shit. <laughs> I have to with that. I mean, I gave, well, I had the money saved up and all that. I mean, I gave it back, but I didn't have any idea to do with it. Okay. So you didn't have any reason. You just did it just because. Yeah, I did it just because. But I didn't have, because I, I didn't know what to do with um, this, what, what I had. Okay. Your job. Do no, your job. Was here that helped you with it. No, just me. Just you? Okay. Now, um, when's the last time you did it? Like two months ago. Two months ago. Yeah. Now, on average, on a seven-day work week, how many times a week were you doing this? Three or four times. It would either be bi or weekly or a month. Um, okay, one time, two times a month. Or I'm, uh, you had to estimate. Just like two times a month, bi weekly. Okay. I'm not... So every other week. Yeah. And how much in total would you do? Each transaction. Either be a small amount or a big amount. It just depends on the. And what's the biggest amount you've done? Um, it's like nine to a thousand. Okay. And what's the smallest amount you've ever done? Maybe like a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. Okay. And um, where did you keep the cash? I kept the stash. Okay. At your home. Yeah, at house. Okay. And how much in total? Um, they told me fourteen, but. I'm not 100% sure. How much did you get back? I gave back everything I had. You gave back everything? Bro, I don't know why, but I don't know. But he just feels like he's very lazy to me, bro. And like, why is... I'm sorry, I don't want to keep on. Did you have it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um, <clears throat> you say how long you've been working? Because you say you don't know exactly when it started, right? Yeah. But you said you only been working a couple months. What, what did you start? Sure. Like, if... Um, I'm correct. It'll be. It should be February. February when it started. It started. No, not when I started this. When I started working here. Oh, so sometime between between February and October, September. Yeah. Because you said two months ago, right? Sometime in between there. It, this is collective over that time frame, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, but listen. So you're gonna be placed under arrest, all right, for scheme of the fraud and grand theft. Would you stand up? Do you have anything in your pockets? Can't do it outside. Outside, no. no like for our safety, no. We're gonna have to do that. Can we do this outside? Bro. 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 Dude just stole $14,000 and he's embarrassed. Not, 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 not embarrassed because how he made his parents look. Not embarrassed because this is wrong in God's eyes. Not embarrassed because it's. It's a sin. Not embarrassed for how his image is going to look now. He's embarrassed that people are going to see him in handcuffs. Come on, man. Maybe you are a good person down, deep down. But come on, man. You got to think better about this situation. Put your hands on your back like a friend. Uh, is there anything else in your pocket? Not any needles, to... anything like that? Nothing? Nothing. All right. Where's your car? In the front. Let's just take this off of it. It's in the front? I'm gonna let him know that it's gonna be parked there, okay? Alright. I'm gonna need a second cup. I'll put two on you, alright? Just so it's a little bit more comfortable. How much longer are these customers having here? Because I was going to walk him out, but I didn't want to change your place with them walking out of here. No. Um, I mean, there's not that many because there's going to be something. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll I was going to wait for that. Okay. Hey, Chris, never mind. Never mind. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, our cars are in the back. Yeah. I know uh, his co work is like a whoa. His car is gonna be alright. Your keys? Chris. Uh, my Yo. keys, phones, and AirPods. Can you give it a cider? Is it in the office? Yes, it's right here. here. Oh. oh, you have it. Okay. You want to give it to him? Yeah. yeah. You don't to have give to it to Snyder? You said give everything? it to Snyder, right? Snyder. Everything? Yeah, everything. Okay. Phone, keys, yep. AirPods, right? Yep. All right. Yep. Oh, six one. Yep. Something else come up, they're gonna look at Snyder, too. It's always Florida. Safety stuff. Nine. Just when they let you on. Ah. You can. 
The perpetrator was taken into custody and spent a night in the local jail, where he was given a few days to think about his actions. He was charged with grand theft and scheme to defraud. A few days later, state prosecutors decided to drop all charges against him, presumably because he paid back the money before his arrest. It seems you can buy your way out of a crime. Anyway, hit... No, we didn't hear that right. Back the money before prosecutors decided to drop all charges a scheme to defraud. A few days later, state prosecutors decided to drop all charges against him. All charges dropped. I don't even know what to say. Let me know, let me know what y'all want to think down below. Let me let me know what y'all think down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, or subscribe. Uh, hit that bell so you can get all post notifications when I post. Uh, make sure you check out one, two, three, a couple more of my reaction videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please comment down what you think, cause that is why I didn't. I, I honest truth did not expect him to say that at all. Ted Cruz is out. Peace.